leading the way is Lower Moreland. You'll find them in lane four. Riverside's in one, Northgate in two, Clearfield in three. And Bishop McDevitt and Cocalico will be at the bottom of your screen in lane seven and eight. Well, I'm looking at Cathedral Prep in lane five. They are your defending champ in this event. Lower Moreland was second in this la uh, last year. Clearfield was third in this last year. Grove City was fifth in this last year. There are some returners. One that wasn't in this field last year to look out for is Bishop McDevitt, lane seven. During the course of the season, they were one of the fastest medley relays in the double-A field. We'll see what they can turn in now that this is the final state championship. Everybody trying to stay loose, keep the heart rates up a little bit here. Well, the waiting's got to be the hardest part, I would think, if you're the freestyler on a medley relay. Oh, there's no waiting. <laughs> back back breasted for you so fast, you're up before you know it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the start here. As a photo opportunity goes on in front of us. <laughs> or a consolation finalist, no doubt. Well, Ethan Neff for Cathedral Prep in lane five, and Josiah Lauer for Bishop McDevitt in lane seven. They're your fastest backstrokers in the field. They want to get out in the front. Coaches call it clear or open water. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they can achieve their mission. Boy, Cathedral Prep is on a mission here out of District 10 in lane 5. Switching over to the breaststroke. Cathedral Prep. John Paul Stark entering the water. Chase Beats of Clearfield. Lane 3 was the fastest breaststroker this morning. Let's see what he can do for his Clearfield Bisons. Pretty good turn here, but look at lane three pouring it on. That's Clearfield, as you mentioned. You know, That's prescribed. And, and looking down on the deck at uh, Clearfield's coach, Jackie Morrison, she is the number one most excited coach <laughs> in the history of this sport. There is no debating it. Love watching Coach Morrison go crazy when her kids are swimming. It's Clearfield, Lower Moreland, and Cathedral Prep doing business and battle here in the Butterfly. Six of these eight Butterflyers split 12. 22 or 23 this morning. These are some fast butterflies. Wow, Clearfield going in the pool with the lead. You're right, Jim. There is no way to round for the freestyle stroke. Clearfield getting challenged by the top seed, Lower Moreland, in yep. lane four. And Lower Moreland, that's Connor Killian. He's going to be swimming in the 200 freestyle coming up next event. Oh, what boy. a turn he had. Oh, boy. And he has got this for Lower Moreland, your gold medal champion with a 134.08 time. Nicely done there. Cathedral Prep coming in second with a 135.69, just as it worked out in the preliminaries earlier today. The third fastest time belongs to Clearfield, a 136 03. Fourth place goes to Grove City. Fifth place, Bishop McDevitt. Sixth place, Northgate. Seventh belongs to Riverside. And finishing up in eighth place is Cocalico in lane eight. Connor Killian anchored that relay in a 20.25. <laughs> this morning he was a 21.25. It tells me that this morning he was on cruise control. Uh -huh. 16 laps, boils down to 40 team points, and a very pretty trophy. And the limit, by the way, is two individual events per swimmer, two relays per swimmer, so you can't have the same guys in all three relays. You can. You are allowed to swim all three relays, okay. but then you're limited to one individual oh, one individ event. That's Four point. events maximum. There you go. Who do you like in the start here? Well, I, I, I think Clearfield, if they're leading off with Luke Mikesell, he's probably the one that's going to take off from the start. That's the order they had this morning. Coaches are allowed to change their orders from morning to night. They, they could even change their competitors from morning to night. So I can only assume the same four are going to be swimming it. Look at lane six getting it started. Grove City out of District 10. Grove City. And that, that was Will Rastatter's uh, leading off this morning. He went 47-98 this morning. A 22-21 split for Grove City today. Luke Mikesell uh, led off for Clearfield this morning. He was a 45-94 this morning. Boy, look at him just drive home to the wall. Oh. Oh. And he finishes his, finishes his streak in 46-3-5. <sighs> and they are going to carry the ball after that great lead out. And Clearfield has the lead. Second place right now. Lane six. 
Grove City, followed closely almost in a tie by Cathedral Prep and Lower Moreland. And they're the two that are battling for the team points mostly. Lane six starting to come up again. Grove City continuing to pressure along within lane three. Cathedral Prep. Oh my, is anybody ever oh, yeah, yeah. going to reel in Clearfield at this point? Here comes an exchange, and at the halfway point, it's a 133-65 for Clearfield. Well, we have eight laps down, eight laps to go. They still look fast. When the new guy dives in, the first lap is always fast. We'll see what their stamina can hold. <laughs> yeah, that second go-around is always a little bit less than the first. Well, the third swimmer for all four of those schools were 48 high, 49 low this morning. Splitting 22-8 to 23-4. And here we go. Look at a bunch up. Oh, my. Grove City hanging in there. They were a 3-12 at their district meet. Went 3-14 this morning. What's it look like from the stand to see this much competition coming at you all at once? Um, wow. That's got to build I'm your trying to rate. look around. This is crazy. Oh, my. Three in virtually the same time, and now Clearfield is in jeopardy. Left and right, and a little more left. I it is Lower Moreland and Grove City to the left. Cathedral Prep to the other side. On the high side right now, barreling. And here it comes Connor Killian from Lower Moreland. Anchoring it, trying to win a state championship, not only in the relay, but a team title for Lower Moreland High School. He was out in 21-2-5, first 50 split. Churning and burning, it is Lower Moreland coming out in front on the final leg. <laughs> By almost a length, Lower Moreland pulls it out with a 3.08.5.0. Connor Killian just split a 44.3. <laughs> 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 wow. Congratulations, Lower Moreland. You just won the 400 free relay and clinched your team championship. Amazing finish.